Southside Jamaica, Rose Gang, what it is. Hop on my throne, let me light up my torch. Plus, I toddy him, I got the sorts. Seeing me winning, they wishing I lost. Rapping real hard, y'all niggas a sort. Imitated by What's my good, Rose Gang? It's your girl, Scarly Rose, and I am back with another video. <laughs> hey, girl. Happy New Year. <laughs> this is the first video of 2024 for me. And I'm so excited, and I'm absolutely proud of myself. Let me tell you why I'm proud of myself, because... I'm really not my best self today, but I am still showing up. And that's my biggest thing that I literally want to conquer this year about like, no matter how I'm feeling, no matter what's going on around me, I want to show up and be consistent because consistency is key. And I've been um following, I don't know if you guys heard of her, but I will um attach her channel right here up in this corner her name is shantia deja she's like a bible-based girl she posts prophetic videos um every day basically yes but she's been a big part of my journey this year honestly like she has a community called unleash that woman and i'm telling you i've been every thursday we meet up together and it's other females that strengthen in their um faith in God and their bond in God and it's so like so much needed like why do I keep saying like 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 oh that's so annoying uh it's a good community and it's helping me helping me for the journey that I'm embarking upon becoming a new um you know elevating as a woman and a businesswoman a rapper a businesswoman I said that already Jesus <laughs> but yeah it's a big help like it's helping me build my strength in our last meeting she asked like what is the biggest thing that's stopping you this year or what what was what is the biggest thing that you're struggling this year and mine's like i said it was consistency and showing up i actually wrote down a couple of things because every meeting i got my little notebook and i'm writing down good tips that she's giving us you know so let me check my book it says, and this is going for like what I just stated about um, showing up no matter how you feel. And it says 99% of the battle is showing up. 99% of the battle is showing up no matter how you feel. And that's like my biggest thing with me because I feel like if my energy is not, because you guys know me, I'm very bubbly, like I'm very like outgoing and all of that. And if I'm not feeling up, if I'm not feeling my best self, I will, I always like try to hide away from the camera. And I know, listen, no matter what you achieve in life, no matter how big you become in life, life is going to life. And when I'm speaking to you guys, I'm speaking to myself. Life is going to life no matter what. So you might as well put in the work no matter what is going on because that can hold you back if you're always hiding away when you know things around you is starting a life and cut up you know so you have to show up 99 percent of the battle is showing up so i'm proud of myself and i'm gonna give myself a round of applause because this is big for me because i'm not feeling my best today but i'm still showing up to get this video out i actually went to a woman in before i get into that i want to read I want to read all of the things that I wrote down because I feel like it's important. All right. So I said 99% of the battle is showing up. The other quote was, you can get paid for being yourself. That's purpose. And that's a part of showing up. You have to show up for your brand, no matter how much, no matter what's going on around you, your business your schooling your job you really have to be a boss babe and just show up because 99 percent of the battle is showing up what other one did i write down oh another thing another thing it says use what you have to get what you need use what you have to get what you need like i started my channel with an iphone and a ring light like you get what i'm saying like you don't have to wait to get the camera the 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 ring light all of this because everything that you have is right in your house everything that you have is right in your house 
You don't need to say if you don't have money for the studio. You don't need to wait to write that song when you get in the studio. You can write that song now. You can have that song prepared for when you go to the studio, when you get the funds to, you know, lay your music down. In any aspects, if you're running a business, oh, I can't make my business page because I don't have my products. Listen, make that business page. You don't got to share it out yet. Make your business page, do your research, find your vendors. You don't have to wait till you get the funds to make your business page. You know, like you can start reaching out and communicating and, you know, laying your stuff out now. Basically, out of that quote specifically, I got to read that again for y'all. <laughs> Use what you have to get what you need. Start now. Everything's not going to be perfect. And this, you know what I learned? <laughs> and this is crazy. There's never going to be a right time. And I'm saying this so loud because I need this to be installed in my head because I am hard headed. There is never a right time to start and to go after what you want. Okay. And I also wrote down, I am my project in this season. I am my project in this season. Like I'm working on me this year. No matter, cause the enemy is busy, but it don't even matter because God is busier and bigger. Distractions are coming. I'm brushing them off. I'm dusting them off. But sometimes running into distractions, it's the beginning of the year. Of course, the enemy know what we got planned and he trying to stop stuff and he's mad, but he cannot. He cannot. And another thing that I learned is like when stuff is going wrong, you have to rejoice because it will confuse the enemy. You have to rejoice because it confuses you and then it feels good. And then it shows Jesus that your faith is in him. He said to have faith of a mustard seed. And that's all you need. What else did I write down? Focus on you, my love. Focus on you. Give this year everything that you have. Because everything that you need is already in you. You are your assignment. Work on yourself. And last, this is the last, this will say last but not least, but this is the last quote. It says, God will, it says, okay, God's will, God's bill. I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say it two more times. God's will, God's bill. God's will, God's bill. Girl, stop worrying about how you going to fund this business. That's none of your business. Write that plan out. Plain, simple, with a blue pen. Plan, step by step by step by step. What am I going to conquer this week? What am I going to do this week? I'm going to search for my logos this week. I am, But before you do that, I am going to do my LLC. I am going to trademark my name. I'm going to look for my logo. I'm going to look for my products. I'm going to start a plan of how I'm going to bring out my, my products. You know, like you, I just really want my gang of roses to really get serious and be serious with me because we in this together. Y'all know I've been building this channel for years and you know, I'm just ready to like show up for myself no matter what. Like I don't have time. I need to be on go. But most of all, I am changing and I'm evolving as a woman. And a lot of things is changing within me. I know my prayer life is on a totally different level this year. And I love that for me. I love that for me because any I want all of my foundations to be built on Jesus. I want to do this with him. You understand? And to do things and to I don't I don't know. Y'all tell me. I'm writing the comments. I know when I do things with Jesus, I'm above water. 
when I think I'm going to do it by myself, I get a slap in my face and I'm drowning. Okay. So I'm literally changing and he's doing amazing things within me and baby, I'm not mad at it. I love this for me. I'm actually reading my Bible now, understanding some things. I remember when I first tried to read my Bible um, as a younger girl, I didn't understand anything. Now, recently I started reading the same thing and now it's starting to click. I'm starting to understand, but some things I don't understand, you know, some things I don't understand. But it takes time. You pray on it. You give it to God. And then you find an understanding. Like I'm literally on a different path. Musically. Business wise. My corporate job. Everything. It's like everything I'm combining with God. I'm taking the old me. The new me. And Jesus. And I'm some things that are old me. <laughs> And I'm combining it all together with the new me and Jesus and Jesus and a woman that I am becoming. And I love that for me. And I love that for y'all. And I really want y'all to get into y'all Bibles and get into your bags, sis. Like, let me tell you. The riches, the billionaires, the millionaires, listen. They cannot tell a story without putting Jesus' name in it, whether you like it or not. I know it's a whole lot going on in the music industry and everything, but baby, huh, we know Jesus don't play it, and I'm just going to leave that there. Okay. Last weekend, I went to a woman empowerment um event, and it was so good. Hold up, let me, um, one moment. The name of the event was called Spark of the Dream. And I'm telling you, I would not have wanted to start my year any other way. To be surrounded around like-minded females. I'm going to add some clips in of the event. going to give you guys a little insider. I got little clips and stuff, so I'm going to combine them all together to show y'all how it was. Let me tell you, those speakers those speakers at the event gave me chills and those women was so brave to speak on things that people are literally scared to speak about i was so surprised and happy at the same time and it was so beautiful and informative and i networked with a lot of great women and it was really really dope and it was really really cool and that's where I see myself surrounding myself around the entrepreneurs, the believers in Jesus and the woman that's building empires. It was so much women there, women that was entrepreneurs, full-time entrepreneurs, mom, women that were moms, full-time corporate jobs, running a business. Like it was just full of a life. Like it was so amazing. And so like, it was really, really beautiful. They actually had one guy speaking and it, this was the first guy. They said this was the first guy that they ever had speaking at a woman empowerment event. And it was so beautiful. He brought his daughter and stuff, his mom. Like it was really, really amazing. And I love that for me. And I love that I started my new year, my new year off like that. I want y'all to get motivated, Rose Gang. It's go time. If you haven't liked and subscribed this video as of yet, girl, what are you waiting for? <laughs> like and subscribe and make sure you turn on your bell notifications. So I'm going to insert the clips and let y'all dive in. It was so amazing. And I'll be right back. You are still loved, you are important, you are somebody. So don't let the depression make you feel like you're less of a person. And I also say that to say, people that, are, that actually are going through depression, 
Um, they beat their stuff up. I experienced parental incarceration, um, poverty, a whole bunch of different stuff, but that doesn't define me. That doesn't, that has nothing to do with who I'm called to become. I went ahead and I opened my own business, my own salon at the age of 16 years old, had employees 30 years old, all types of ages working for me. And that experience alone taught me a lot about the person that I'm called to become. So I learned that I cannot be worried about the past because when you're walking in a room, people are often going to say, hey, I remember you. I remember your father was locked up. They think that's the end, but that's the start of something great. I want you guys to understand that just because this is what you went through, it's not the end. It's just the start of something great. It's the new year. I know right now everybody's saying new year, new year, whatever. They in the gym. I went to the gym every this pack. Right, right. But in order for things to truly shift, you have to shift within. You got to look at your heart. I think what people don't understand is you got to check your heart posture. Yes. We are asking for a lot in this season. Oh, give me a season of old oh, being ahead and never get to Amen. And that's my life yeah. story. I did not allow the things that I have been through to turn me into a cold soul. Because guess what? A cold soul is not who I am. Hello. I am a woman that has heart. I have empathy. And this oh. world sometimes can make you feel like being vulnerable is a bad thing. Yes. But let me tell you something. It is not a bad thing. We need more people with big hearts. We need more people to speak life into people. We need more people to go outside and ask people, are you okay? Me winning, they wishing I lost. Rapping real hard, y'all niggas a sore. Tuh, imitated by my character, huh? My flow will embarrass ya, huh? What bitch rapping like me? Nada. Only double B's for the feet, no Prada. Hot on top with no deal. Uh, only signing for some meals. Uh, Eat up, make it real. Sloppy nigga, you know the drill. I been feeding through the fast lane, patty on the gas, man. Chicks big mad, cause I'm coming up fast. Hill on the neck, and I'm on implying pressure. Nigga, in my DM typing up love letters. Hold up, promise this and what you won't, nah. So, as you can see, the event was beautiful and pink. The dress code i know that's my favorite color the um event was beautiful and pink everybody had on pink and it was so cute and beautiful but yeah it was a vibe like it was great informative like i said rose gang i love you guys so much i want you guys to stick to the plan no matter what's going on in your lives and stay strong and show up show up no matter how you are feeling because it counts jesus just want to see you putting in the work so he can handle the rest he did not give you that vision if it wasn't already written but one thing i learned sometimes you have to remind if you feel like you took a break from your craft and from your dreams of what god was calling you for you need to bring it up in your prayer you need to remind jesus like Jesus, I remember what you promised me and let him know that you still want to go for this. Tell him to order your steps, like ask him what to do next and he will, girl. He will, I'm telling you, like he will. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I love you guys so much. New music is coming soon. A lot of new music is coming soon. Uh, business products is coming soon. I'm still in the middle of relaunching my cosmetic line, but I'm so excited for this year and I want y'all to be excited for me. So at the end of the, I want y'all to be excited for me and for yourselves. At the end of the year, I want us to gather up back again and just, you know, like, talk in the comments like what did we achieve did we go for it no matter what like i want to hear nothing but great stories y'all got this getting your bible getting your bag and do your thing do your big one do your big one i love that for you and i love that for me too thank you so much rose gang for watching like i said make sure you like comment and subscribe and turn on that bell notification so when i upload you guys will be the first to know Make sure you, it's Sunday, open up that Bible, sis. Mm -hmm.